come in right now. Could you tell me if I need Botox? I can tell you you need Botox. I fucking hate you. Does Jason get Botox? No. Jason does nothing to his face. He's never had Botox. It'll change your life, I'm telling you. Okay, then I will touch base with you when I finish up here and I'll make sure to send you a picture of my gorgeous face.
Oh, hi guys. It is officially two weeks since my appointment with Dr. Jen and now everything I feel like has fully settled and I figured why not give you an update on how I'm liking the results. So I went in to see Dr. Jen Armstrong from who you may recognize from the Real Houses of Orange County. She's got her practice out in Newport Beach. I live in LA so I went out to go and visit Dr. Jen and I have to say I'm very happy with the results from the appointment. It's been two weeks. We did the LA show, we did the Nashville show, I'm getting ready to do the New York show. And I think my face looks incredible and I love it. I love the photos, especially because I've always like been really hollow here under the eyes. Um, and especially here, and I noticed like these fine lines were starting to like really deepen, which was making me super insecure, especially having to watch myself on camera all the time. So I want, I was curious about learning more about filler. Botox I've done before, and in this case, we actually did Juvo, which is dubbed as like the new tox. It kicks in a little bit quicker. Some people like it a lot better. Really kind of just depends on what your doctor thinks is gonna be best for you. And I always say go to like a real board certified plastic surgeon, go to an actual MD. Med spas are great, um, but you always just, you want somebody that's very skilled in the face. And Dr. Jen is definitely certified and skilled in facial aesthetics. She knows how to make you look pretty and natural. So we did Juvo, and like I said, I've gotten Botox in the past. And so what that does is it basically freezes your muscles. So as you get older, you, you lose elastin and you lose collagen. So it's easier for you to like develop deeper fine lines and wrinkles. And the older you get, the deeper those creases start to build. So I liked to start getting Botox early on because it started to kind of help prevent those fine lines from getting deeper and deeper. It is something that you have to kind of maintain and keep up with. For most people, I think it lasts about like three to four months. So I've definitely gotten touch-ups. I think I usually wait like every like six to eight months. Cause again, I started a lot younger. It's more of a preventative tool that I'm using. Filler is something that I've never done before. And so I believe we did RHA collection and I was, a little apprehensive as I shared with Dr. Jen. You should always have a doctor that like helps you talk through all of your concerns before actually injecting anything into your face. Botox, Juvo, like those type of muscle freezers as I like to call them, which really just kind of smooth everything out. Those you can't reverse, but they do go away in time. Like I said, usually about three to four months and your face is kind of bounced back at that point. Really just depends on like how fast your body metabolizes things. When it comes to filler, that can last up to a year, but if you don't like it, you can always come back and have it dissolved instantly or have it dissolved right away. A lot of celebs have talked about it. I think Amy Schumer recently talked about getting filler and not liking it, having it dissolved. Khloe Kardashian's also talked about getting filler when she did it for the first time. She didn't like it, she had it dissolved. So that is reversible um, a lot quicker, whereas with Botox, you kind of just have to ride that out. So I believe we did about 60 units of Juvo in my face and then three vials of filler. And with filler, this is usually where you see people that have some bad work done because they have like that pillow face where like their cheeks are really big. Like Shannon Bador, I think doesn't have the best filler. She's not my favorite um, when it comes to her filler. And she even talks about that, like how the last OC reunion, like she had six vials of filler put into her cheeks and like it just did not. It did not work. So basically what filler does is it kind of, it fills up the face in the areas that you really need it. I've always been really insecure about my under eyes because I would always get like really, I was really hollow here and a little more hollow here according to Dr. Jen, which is why these fine lines were really starting to deepen. Um, and then my under eyes, I would always kind of have like this shadow here, which I guess was hereditary, but luckily with the filler, it looks so much better. Like my face just looks fresher, it looks fuller. It, um, I just feel very youthful and rejuvenated. I also notice like after I get Botox and I guess now after I've gotten filler for the first time, it really smooths out your skin as well. Whereas my skin, I do have some like annoying, frustrating acne scarring that I've struggled with in the past. And I've talked to Dr. Jen about maybe coming back and doing some lasers because she's really big about lasers. I don't think I've ever done lasers before other than like LED lasers, but those are more like at home treatments. But 
yeah, I am curious as to what a laser would entail. Let me know if you guys would want to go on that journey with me to get a laser and to film that too. But anyway, this is how it looks two weeks after getting Juvo and filler. See, I have the receipts right here. It says Tioxane RHA 3MD. So we did three vials of filler in my face, which were mostly here and here, a little bit here, just to kind of smooth it all out. So I didn't have like that shelf that Dr. Jen was, that Dr. Jen was talking about. And then 60 units of Juvel, which we had put all up in my forehead here, which is where people most commonly get their Botox or Juvo. I also sometimes like to get it around the eyes a little bit just because it kind of opens my eyes. I actually think they look great. The brows look poppin'. Like, I'm happy with the results. So thank you, Dr. Jen. If you guys are in Newport, definitely give Dr. Jen a holler.